How could Newton have deciphered that gravity was sufficient to permit us to travel from the Earth to the Moon at any given second? Lose yourself in the ticking hands of time, considering whether our understanding of it is simply the surface of a brief chunk of ice on its top. His revelation isn't simply a guess. A key could open the pathways to the secrets of the universe, uncovering a reality undeniably more erratic and stunning than we had ever envisioned. How does Brian Cox's book Hypothesis challenge our practical view of time? And what are the likely ramifications for our comprehension of reality? Join us on a captivating excursion through the annals of time itself as we investigate Brian Cox's recently uncovered extraordinary speculations regarding the substance of time in the vast universe around us. Mysteries await revelation, and some of these secrets concern astounding ideas of time and gravity, which are crucial components of our world. Envision an existence where time acts oddly, able to slow down or accelerate. Furthermore, the force that keeps us grounded may not be as it seems. This is the space of Albert Einstein's theories of relativity, where our understanding of time and gravity diverges in startling ways. Einstein, a prestigious figure, gave us a clearer perspective on the universe through his theories of relativity. His contributions set the stage for appreciating how time behaves under varying circumstances, especially when traveling at mind-boggling speeds. Everything began in the early 20th century when Einstein introduced two groundbreaking theories, the special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. The special theory of relativity, published in 1905, transformed our perception of existence. Simply put, it asserts that the laws of physics are the same for all observers who aren't accelerating, regardless of their motion. This theory opens up the possibility of relativistic effects including the well-known idea that time can stretch or decelerate under certain conditions. One intriguing concept used to explain time dilation is the light clock. Imagine being inside a spacecraft traveling at nearly the speed of light. Inside the spacecraft, there's a beam of light bouncing between two mirrors, perpendicular to the direction of motion. According to the laws of physics, the speed of light is constant for all observers so the light beam must appear to travel in a diagonal path. Here's the captivating part. The time it takes for the light beam to travel its path should be identical for both the observer inside the rocket and the one outside. However, since the path is longer for the external observer, it appears to take more time for the light to complete its journey. This apparent time discrepancy between the two observers is what Einstein referred to as time dilation. Time slows down for the observer, moving relative to the stationary one. Understanding how things change when they move quickly, known as relativistic effects, is not just a theoretical concept. Scientists use massive machines called particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, to make particles travel at speeds approaching the speed of light. When things move this fast, we must reconsider time to make precise predictions and measurements. Albert Einstein formulated the special theory of relativity in 1905, revolutionizing how we view the universe, particularly regarding time and motion. This theory challenges what we might instinctively believe. It asserts that the laws of physics are the same for everyone, whether they are moving or stationary. This contrasts with our everyday experience, where we might think that if something is already moving and we add more speed, it simply gets faster. However, Einstein's theory states that there's a maximum speed. Nothing can exceed the speed of light. From this perspective, events that seem simultaneous to us may not appear the same to people moving near the speed of light. Another consequence of this new perspective is length contraction. This means that if something is moving, it appears shorter in the direction of motion when viewed from a stationary vantage point. And then there's the famous equation which directly emerges from this unique perspective. It shows that energy and mass can be converted into each other, which is vital for understanding how small particles behave when traveling at extraordinary speeds and for processes like nuclear reactions. In practice, special relativity isn't just an abstract idea. It's fundamental to everyday technology, such as GPS. When GPS satellites send messages to your device, they are moving, so time behaves slightly differently for them. 
If we didn't account for this time dilation effect in our GPS calculations, your navigation would be inaccurate. Thus, special relativity teaches us that time isn't uniform for all objects and places. It depends on how things are moving. This concept challenges our conventional ideas of reality, suggesting that our ordinary understanding of the universe is somewhat off. According to the special theory of relativity, time isn't fixed. It is influenced by motion. Core principles, like the constancy of the speed of light and the interrelationship of energy and mass, have been confirmed through numerous experiments. However, there's more. Enter Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity from 1915. This theory delves deeper into the relationship between gravity and the structure of the universe. It overturns the old concept that gravity is merely a force that attracts objects from a distance. Rather, it tells us that gravity occurs because space-time itself is curved or warped. It's like saying gravity isn't some mysterious force. It's simply how objects move in the universe. According to Brian Cox, grasping general relativity requires visualizing the universe as a flexible, interconnected fabric. The presence of massive objects bends the fabric of space-time. This bending creates the effect we perceive as gravity. Imagine placing a heavy ball on a stretched rubber sheet. It creates a dip, and smaller objects placed nearby naturally roll toward it. Similarly, planets, stars, and galaxies warp space-time, guiding the paths of objects and light within their vicinity. General relativity not only redefined gravity, but also made astonishing predictions. One of these is the bending of light by gravity, known as gravitational lensing. This phenomenon was first observed during a solar eclipse in 1919, where starlight passing near the sun was visibly deflected, confirming Einstein's predictions. Another key implication is the concept of black holes, regions of space-time so heavily warped that nothing, not even light, can escape their gravitational grip. Additionally, general relativity introduced the idea of time dilation due to gravity, known as gravitational time dilation. Near massive objects, time flows more slowly relative to areas with weaker gravitational fields. This effect has been experimentally verified, such as with precise atomic clocks on Earth compared to those placed on high-altitude planes or satellites. These insights illustrate how profoundly gravity shapes our understanding of time and space. Brian Cox's exploration of these theories takes us further, challenging our perceptions of reality. He argues that time, far from being linear or absolute, behaves in ways that are deeply intertwined with the universe's fabric. In his recent work, Cox delves into how Einstein's theories connect with modern advancements in quantum mechanics, suggesting a potential unification of the two domains. This would be nothing short of revolutionary, offering new insights into the origins of the universe, the nature of time, and even the possibility of multiverses. By blending the elegance of Einstein's theories with the complexities of quantum mechanics, Cox paints a picture of a universe that is far more dynamic and unpredictable than we might imagine. He asks profound questions. What is the true nature of time? Could time itself emerge from deeper, fundamental principles yet to be discovered? And how do gravity and quantum mechanics, seemingly at odds, coexist in shaping the cosmos? As we ponder these questions, it becomes clear that our journey of understanding is far from over. The universe holds mysteries beyond our wildest dreams, waiting to be unraveled by future generations of thinkers and dreamers. From Newton's apple to Einstein's equations and beyond, our quest to comprehend time, gravity, and the universe continues to push the boundaries of human knowledge. A four-layered substance joining three spatial aspects with one of time in this system gigantic objects like stars, planets, and even ourselves, impact how space-time is formed around us. Envision space-time as a huge, flexible cover. When something weighty like Earth is placed on it, it makes a space. Assuming you place something smaller like a ball close to Earth, it will move toward the space. This is much the same as how objects act due to gravity. It's not a supernatural power, but a response to the bending of space-time. Maybe Earth makes a little dunk in the space-time texture, and objects move according to that plunge. 
General relativity offers a strong explanation for how objects move in our planetary system. For example, how planets circle the sun. It can exactly determine the paths these planets follow, including how Earth follows a curved circle around the sun. According to Brian, this differs from the obsolete thought of gravity simply pulling objects, which struggled to explain planetary movement. The new understanding is that realities are bent like flexible textures, which adjust better with what we notice. A crucial moment affirming general relativity happened during a solar eclipse in 1919. Sir Arthur Eddington led a group to see how light from distant stars bent as it passed close to the sun. According to the theory, the sun's enormous mass would make the starlight bend slightly. During the eclipse, the observations exactly matched Einstein's predictions, affirming the validity of the theory. Similarly, as motion can adjust how we experience time and special relativity, gravity also impacts time. In areas of strong gravity, time elapses more slowly compared to regions with weaker gravity. So if you were standing close to a massive object like a black hole, your clock would tick more slowly than one set far from the intense gravitational field. General relativity presents black holes, areas where gravity is extraordinarily strong. Inside a black hole, the gravitational force is so immense that nothing, not even light, can escape. The boundary around a black hole is known as the event horizon, representing a point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, it is pulled into the black hole with no chance of escape. Einstein's general theory of relativity has significant implications for how the universe is organized. At first, he added a cosmological constant to his equations because he believed the universe was static. But when we discovered that the universe is expanding, he acknowledged this as a major mistake. The idea of an expanding universe grounded in general relativity is a crucial part of the theory of the universe's origins, explaining how the universe began. Another critical part of general relativity is gravitational waves. These are like waves in the space-time texture caused by the movement of enormous objects, such as when black holes or neutron stars collide. In 2015, researchers at the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, directly detected gravitational waves, providing further confirmation of Einstein's theory. Over the years, scientists have conducted various investigations to test general relativity, and each time it has proven accurate. Whether it's examining planetary motion, the bending of starlight, or detecting gravitational waves, the theory has consistently been validated by evidence. While asserting gravity is entirely incorrect may seem surprising, especially since we experience gravity every day in the realm of physics, it is common to challenge and explore new hypotheses. Researchers like Brian often question established theories, and with gravity, some challenge the conventional view of this fundamental force. One theory that challenges the traditional perspective of gravity is modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests that gravity acts differently at low speeds, especially in a universe that does not require dark matter. Instead of adding invisible matter, Mond posits that gravity strengthens at lower speeds. The gravity debate also involves the mysterious concepts of dark matter and dark energy, which were introduced to explain certain anomalies in space. Critics argue that these may not be necessary, and alternative theories can account for what we observe. Some experts who dispute Einstein's gravity theory explore other possibilities, such as theories involving unknown particles or forces that could modify or contribute to our understanding. It's important to recognize that scientific theories are always being tested and refined. How Newton and Einstein explained gravity was revolutionary, but the study of time and gravity is far from complete. Therefore, it's possible that other theories of gravity may reshape our understanding of space-time itself. This is an exciting and continuously evolving field in science. The exploration of time, space, and gravity is an endless journey. And as our understanding grows, we may uncover even greater secrets that challenge everything we thought we knew. Theories will evolve, new discoveries will arise, and the questions that seem impossible to answer today may be clearer tomorrow. In the end, 
This is only the beginning of a journey that may take humanity far beyond our current knowledge, into a future where the very fabric of reality is understood in ways we can't yet imagine. Ultimately, time, gravity, and the universe will continue to hold their secrets. Secrets that may one day help us answer the ultimate question. What is the nature of reality? As science advances, we move closer to revealing the profound mysteries that shape our reality, allowing us to glimpse the intricate web that ties everything together. And in that revelation, we will continue to be awed by the vastness of the universe and the mystery of time itself. As our understanding of the universe and its underlying laws deepens, we may find that the very nature of space, time, and gravity becomes even more complex than we can currently fathom. Each new discovery not only answers some questions, but often gives rise to even more intriguing ones. Concepts that seem impossible today may soon become fundamental to our view of the cosmos. With advancements in technology, such as powerful telescopes, particle accelerators, and gravitational wave detectors, the tools we use to explore the universe are constantly improving. These tools may allow us to probe the most remote and enigmatic corners of space, offering us new insights into the true workings of reality. One area of research that may yield groundbreaking revelations is the study of quantum gravity, which seeks to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. General relativity works extremely well for large-scale structures like planets, stars, and galaxies, while quantum mechanics explains the behavior of the smallest particles in the universe. However, these two theories, as they currently stand, are fundamentally incompatible. A theory of quantum gravity could potentially unify these two realms and offer a new understanding of space-time at the smallest scales. This could help explain phenomena like the behavior of black holes, the early moments of the Big Bang, and even the true nature of dark matter and dark energy. Moreover, the concept of a multiverse, an idea suggesting that our universe is just one of many, has sparked intense debate and speculation. If true, it would fundamentally alter our perception of space and time. The idea that our universe is only one of an infinite number of parallel universes raises profound questions about the nature of reality, existence, and the laws that govern them. In addition to theoretical advancements, the search for extraterrestrial life continues to shape our understanding of the universe. If life beyond Earth is discovered, it would not only be one of the most profound scientific findings in history, but could also offer new perspectives on the origins and evolution of life, space, and time itself. As we continue to explore these questions, we may find ourselves standing on the precipice of a new era in scientific discovery, one where the boundaries between science fiction and science fact blur, and where our understanding of reality is rewritten in ways that we can only begin to imagine. The mysteries of time, gravity, and the universe are vast, but the pursuit of knowledge and understanding is an eternal endeavor. As we venture further into this journey, we are bound to uncover new truths that challenge the very essence of our existence and redefine the way we perceive the world around us. In the end, the pursuit of these fundamental questions is not just about understanding the universe on a cosmic scale, it's also about understanding our place within it. The quest to answer the ultimate question, what is the nature of reality, could lead us to new insights, not only about the physical universe, but also about ourselves and the very nature of consciousness. As we unlock the secrets of the cosmos, we may come to realize that the answers to the biggest questions are not just about what lies beyond, but also about what lies within. The journey toward understanding the true nature of space, time, and gravity is, in many ways, a journey of self-discovery, a quest that will continue to inspire and challenge humanity for generations to come.